Hi, this is Baiju Vasudevan. Welcome to my channel, Pi by Me Maths. In this video, we are going to solve Statistics 1S1 Jan 2019 paper. This paper consists of six questions. Question number one. The Venn diagram shows the probability of a randomly selected student from a school being in the sets L, B and C. L represents the event that the student has instrumental music lessons. B represents the event that the student plays in the school band. C represents the event that the student sing in the school choir. P, Q, R and S are probabilities. Part A. Select a pair of mutually exclusive events from L, B and C. In here, they want you to find two mutually exclusive events. So when they say mutually exclusive, remember this, in the Venn diagram, given Venn diagram, you need to look for two non-overlapping circles. That means the, the two circles without intersecting. If you take L and C, they both intersect here. If you take L and B, B is inside L, which is a subset, it's kind of intersection. You need to find, you need to check whether it, are there any two circles without intersecting. So if you look at B and C, these two circles, they never touch, not overlapping. So these two events are mutually exclusive events. That's the condition. When two events are mutually exclusive events, there will be no intersection. So the answer for part A is B and C. Events B and C are two mutually exclusive events. Given that P of L is 0 0.4, P of B is 0 0.13, P of C is 0 0.3 and the events L and C are independent, part B find the value of P. This question carries two marks. Okay, here in part B, we have all this information and uh, in addition to this, it's given A, L and C, events L and C are independent events. So there are two formulas, two rules you need to remember here. The first one, if two events are mutually exclusive events, that means B and C, if you want to find the union of these two sets, let's say A and B are two mutually exclusive events. If you want to find the union, there is no intersection between these two sets. So you need to take this whole, this whole value plus this value. That's how you find the union. So P of A plus P of B because there is no intersection. So that's the first rule if two events are mutually exclusive. If two events are independent, take the opposite. A intersection B is P of A times P of B. These two are very important rules. You have to remember this rule. First one for mutually exclusive, second one for independent. So here, it's given L and C are independent events. So you can write P of L intersection C is P of L times P of C. We know by looking at the Venn diagram, you can see L intersection C is P and take the value of P of L and P of C. So your P is 0 0.12. 